Um, bit of a, as you can see, I'm in my car, so I thought, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, my dog is in the car. First time in the car, I thought, why not? As you see, anyway, by the title and the thumbnail, I'm doing a car tour. I thought, I have a car, why not? As you see, her ear is right there. Um, however, I have realised I don't have many places to put a camera, so I had to put on my seat. So hopefully it doesn't fall. But before we get into this video, um, can you please subscribe? Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Really appreciate it. Um, leave a like. Can we hit five likes? We managed to do it on my last video, which was insane. Can we do it on this video? So I keep looking. <laughs> There's loads of pigeons. Uh, and also, I think it's the uh, um, sixty percent of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So subscribe, guys. Appreciate that. Anyway, let's get into the car tour. So obviously, this is where I sit. The driver's seat. I went for cream. Obviously, my mum bought it, so I didn't actually know what you could get and stuff. But I like the cream one. From what I have seen, like, let me just turn this camera around. I've got my dog now. From I have seen other car tours, and from what I have seen, apparently you can get either cream, which I've got, or black. And I would have preferred cream, to be honest. But anyway, let me turn it back around. So this is obviously the little. Hopefully, it. Yeah. This is a little dial. This is the how fast you're going i think this is the revs yeah yeah revs per minute and then miles per hour that's a little battery i'm not too sure i mean it is a battery so you know i don't have my seatbelt on currently hence why the light is on that i don't know what that is something to do with water i'm guessing something to do with engine handbrake i'm pretty sure obviously time day how many miles I've done. This is um, second hand. It's only have one owner though, which is pretty good. It is nine degrees outside. Obviously my keys, the air vent. I have put it on hot because it's quite cold. And obviously, and um, my car is this color. I don't know what color you call it, green. It looks a bit blue on the camera. I don't know, in my opinion, but it's much more green. As you can see from the wind mirror, from the, Guys, my mind's just gone blank, whatever they're called again. <laughs> um, a little secret compartment. I don't put anything in there. Well, not secret, but you know. Uh, let's go into the middle. I do have a big, uh, whatever it's called. I move my hand, I, you know, like the where the radio is and stuff. And it should have CarPlay. I don't, ha I haven't had my handbook yet, but um, and I don't know how to get it working. So if anyone knows, please put in the comments below because I have no idea. But um, yeah, and also this is a little magnetic thing, which I do actually, I bought some magnets on Amazon. I haven't put this on my phone yet. So I'll put that there. Um, let me, so they're fog lights. I don't think, yeah, cause my engine's not actually on. Hazard lights, and that is to put it in city mode. Yeah, so you can see that, as you can see by city mode. I don't know, it, I think it's makes the steering easier, but if I'm honest, it's easy anyway, in my opinion. I'm gonna interrupt this video. So, while I was editing this, I just realised I forgot to show you something. Let me just switch so it. I forgot to show you the these down here and the other side as, as well. And if I just put my keys in. Right, there we go. So these are the indicators, so lift it up to go indicate right, as you can see, down to indicate left. Oh, what was that? There we go, that was a bit scary. And then, if you see there, this turns the lights on. I don't think, you won't guys, yeah, you can actually see, I think, just, yeah, just reflecting on the wall. And then to turn the main beam on, as you can see there, that means push down. And you can see there that it's on. Let me just. Maybe it's not doing anything different because the engine's not on properly. So I'm going to just turn them on. And then this down here is cruise control. I don't even know how that works. I've not used that yet. Um, so what am I? Right, so this is window wipers. So. Right, guys, it's very. The wheel is really in the way. I do apologise. But basically, this, if you twist this, it turns on the back ones as you can see 
Um, so I'm going to turn it off. And then if you just lift it up, and then you can, if if you're lifting it up and down, different stuff and stuff like that. And then if you want to make it like spray water, if you can see that little thing there, push that down. Like that. Um, and I think that is pretty much it. I just forgot to show you that, so I just wanted to interrupt that. But um, in, hopefully you enjoy the rest of the tour. So let's move down here. God, I saw someone behind me. <laughs> this is to control the temperature, so if it's hot, cold. This is to control like the power. So for example, four, four. It controls the power, but only one on one. And then if you press that. You might be able to see, yeah, that light, that means the air comes on. Don't want that on though. That, I think, just con means if it, the air is coming from outside to in. And then I think that just, like, circulates it from in the car. I'm not too sure, though. Put me in the comments if I'm wrong. This just controls where the air comes out from. So this one controls, it means it comes out from here only. This one means it controls from the feet and on you. And this one, just the feet... And then this one is feet, and I think for the window screen, I believe. And then this one is just window screen. This, I do not know what this means. I'm not too sure. ASR off, I don't know what that means either. This is if you want start, stop, etc. And I think this may just be, I think you can turn the airbags off and stuff like that. Anyway, so obviously this is the gear stick. And, um,. Obviously, I think in normal cars, the gear stick is, like, much lower, which is a little bit, you know, strange. But, I mean, my first car, so I didn't really find it really strange. And then, um, also something else which is strange from, like, being in other cars, the window wipers are on the, in, like, the middle rather than on the side. So about my dog. <laughs> Um, and then obviously down here we've got a cigarette lighter or whatever where you can charge your phone if you have the adapter. Two cup holders, USB, aux, and what? And going back to the sat nav thing, whatever, CarPlay, I even plug it in there and it just doesn't seem to work. So I'm not too sure what's happened there. But again, let me in the comments below. Really would appreciate that. Um, so obviously, handbrake, move your seat see that obviously and then you can move it back and etc and then i'll get into the back when i've just finished the front right sorry bella that is my dog's name we're gonna have to just move a minute <laughs> so obviously we've got look some car parts here speaker this to control the this to control the mirror thing whatever i don't, I don't actually change that because and then also to lock it guys which is also which is very strange in my opinion you just do that and then it's locked and then obviously to open it you just do it like that um yeah and then it's literally literally just mirrored obviously on the other side apart from you don't have the wind mirrors um that i think is open the thing or whatever that you know i my mind's gone blank guys okay i, don't, I can't remember what it's called oh and also wind mirror um and also guys I, it, it doesn't open it, like the sunroof but you can do this which is really nice I haven't ever actually had to do that yet so I just keep it open and you have this however I have had an experience where just where my because my mum has to sit next to me when I drive because I'm not allowed because I'm only on provisional license and I have had a sun experience where I've had to feel longer like this otherwise it hurts my eyes Okay, and also it is on this side as well, and you have a mirror on this side, and a light. Do you have a light? Yeah, you don't have a lot in here. Um, oh, guys, you know what? Actually, I'll show you now. I'll show you on my... So, it it's half leather, and half, um, like, checked. Half checked, I'd say. Um, but also, because this, I forgot to say, it's a Fiat 500 lounge. So, yeah. And obviously... But yeah, I'll get into the back now. I think. Oh, you know what? I'll just show you in here. I don't think I've got anything in here. Oh, just some masks. My mum had to buy some quickly. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know what that metal thing is, but that is it for the front. I'll get onto the back. Um, 
now. Right. So this is what the back looks like from afar. Right, so guys, I'm going to just do a bit of a switch and I'm going to get into the back so I can... Because I've not even been in the back, if I'm honest, so... Right, sorry about that, guys. I didn't even realise the video. Right, quick transformation. I'm now in the back. It was very weird. I've not been in the back of my car before. But, um... So let me just show you this first. So obviously this connected to the seat to push it forwards and stuff. I'll show you if you want, just like that. And then you can go further back, etc. This is the front seat belt, obviously. Back seat belt. The windows are a lot smaller as well and you can't open them. Uh, this up here is if you want to hang something on a coat hanger, I think. Oh no, wait. Oh no, this, okay, you don't open this. So about the, you just kind of hook it on there. Um, I mean, obviously the seats is the same throughout the car. Half leather and then half check. Well, it's probably a bit more than half, but yeah. Um, obviously more speakers in the back. Mirrored on the other side. I don't know why actually, but you only have one of these little pockets here. You don't have it on the drive back of the driver's seat, which is very strange if I'm honest. And then you have obviously a decent amount of leg room, in my opinion. However, I am only like five foot three, so obviously, you know, but all good things come in small packages. <laughs> I think that's actually it to be honest. I'll show you the beat boot as well. It's a lot smaller the boot. Um but yeah, I'll show you the boot. So this is the boot. I need to hide the number plate. So it has some bags in, just from my mum put them in there. Very small boot, but fine for me. You can see my dog right there. But perfect boot for me anyway, needed. Well, so there's just some bags in there and stuff like that. But, and then you just close it. Guys, I've got to cover the number plate. Even though... I'm getting it changed because I got a private number plate for my birthday from my brother and sister, so that's pretty nice. It's got, I do. Oh, guys, you know what? I'm just packing the front now. I forgot to show. I mean, obviously, it's quite. It is manual as well, I forgot to say, but by the gear seat, you can tell. And I forgot to show, obviously, not that you wouldn't know, but pedals at the bottom, obviously. My dog is crying. I don't know what she's doing. Bella! What's wrong? What's wrong, Bella? I don't think she's she's not keen on cars, I'm not gonna lie. But um that is the end of my video. Right, let me just switch switch one sec. Back same position as before. Um that is the end of the video anyway. Again, make sure to subscribe, really appreciate it. And I will um all like my social links social links will be down below. aka my Instagram, it will be in the middle of the video as well. But um Again, can we smash five likes if we can? That'll be insane. Um, subscribe, and that's pretty much it. And of course, comment down below as well. Again, I forgot. Just if you know why my carplay thing isn't working, very, very would appreciate that. But anyway, see you in the next video.